In Chapter 73, Finders, Reapers, Graven and Bizarra locate the Private Eye Willoughby at all hands on deck. Graven Ovigo? Perhaps. A little birdie whispered in my ear that a new Goliath in town had paid a visit to Mr. Ainsley this morning. A cleric of Cozney visiting a cleric of Grom Gale. Now that is interesting, and <laughs> I'm a sucker for the unusual oh and the interesting. But Willoughby isn't giving out information for free. I'm looking for someone named Pockets. Just okay. a location, if you could. Well, I can't give you that because I don't know exactly where he is. I just know who he is and I can probably track him down. You don't know where he is? Nope. There's a local tattoo artist. Butez, yeah, I know. What time of day does he usually come in? He comes in at around the same time that you start paying me for information. <laughs> <laughs> Willoughby will only work for them if Bizarra and Graven take certain cases off his hands. Like who's murdering a bunch of people, and who's talking shit about Cleaver. I'll get things rolling, but I can't really start off until you get those things off my plate. Then I'll start already, oh I'm into right, it, I'm right, thinking. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you want to just... Come with me to see Hatchet, and then we'll both go see Cleaver. All right. Hatchet is a known Mycrawl dealer in Navikapora, as well as a prime suspect in Bazaar's missing wizard case. Looking to stretch your time a bit, are you? Most people that come looking for me are. You have different types of products. That depends. You looking to stretch 15 minutes into an hour, an hour into an afternoon, an afternoon into a couple days. Dosage changes. But lips once again become sealed when Bazaar and Graven try to get information about specific people. See, I don't give out a lot of information to strangers, you understand? Mm. Maybe if we got to know each other better. Mm. How does one become a friend of yours? Well, it always stretch time together. Whoa. Meanwhile, to the west, Safira, Erland, and Dorba visit Mr. Pargus in his alchemy shop, where they spot the pouches identical to the one the plant man mutant seemed to recognize at the Mycrawl den. So some people simply purchase these, um, these sort of s s pouches without po purchasing any of your potions at all? I've had that happen a few times, or they have their own potions already and they're just looking for something to carry it in. Right, but you don't have to necessarily buy a potion in order no, to get... No, you can purchase them separately. He's got a lab upstairs, he's skilled in potions, he's some kind of alchemist. There's a lot of money in, you know, Michael, trying to say it quietly. Um, you think he's making it? I don't know. I, I, I think he could be. But it's time for Erlen and Safira to split ways with Orba, as her meeting with Celis draws near. Safira and Erlen check out a local combat demonstration featuring Mr. Darrow and his school of recent graduates. About how long does training last? Well, it lasts for four months. We have an accelerated program as well. How does that work? Well, it's um, only it's five sessions over five days. The accelerated program lives on the grounds. That way we can safely administer and track the use of the myconid extract. <sighs> oh, so you administer myconid extract in order to help people uh, learn quicker? Yes. We find that the accelerated program helps you reach a mastery level far faster than normally. As our friends realize how present myconid extract is in this new city, Orba finally lays eyes on Celis, the wizard holding the answers behind her mysterious page. This is an ancient runic cipher seems incomprehensible, but when held up to the light in front of the correct page, it forms letters enough to read. So you see, if you have the book and the page, you can read it. If you hold the page to the book and it says nothing, if it's gibberish, I am afraid Salandriel did never intended for you to meet with Cliff, and I must turn you away. Celis opens the book to the page marked Sapphire Ring and hands it to Orba. She places her page on top and shines light beneath it. I can read it. What does it say? The gods are not forever. The mortal makes the divine. I am a reaper. It is my time. And that's where we'll pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> is Orba the Reaper of Gods? How will Safira navigate a city drowning in myconid extract? Will Graven and Bazara become an after-school special when they do drugs in order to make new friends? Find out next time on Table Top Notch.